Peace family, it's Tarot Tuesday and I'm here to deliver you a message that will hopefully help you as you navigate your week. So I've already shuffled the cards and we're just gonna go through and see what the message is. First card out is the star card. When the star card comes out, the first thing I think of is Aquarius because the star card represents a sign of Aquarius, but it's also a representation of wish fulfillment. There's some new opportunity that's making itself available to us this week. And if we keep our, our minds and our hearts set on the opportunity that is um, available even in the midst of perhaps some obstacles, then um, you know we have a lot of beauty to lean into, okay? So this is an Aquarius card, but it's also the card of wish fulfillment. Often though, this wish fulfillment comes at the price of something else. You've probably heard the, the term or the phrase like, when God closes a door, he opens a window. And whether or not you you know, subscribe to anything specific religiously. This is true of the universe as well. When one door closes, there are windows that are opened in response. So this leads us into the advice card, which is the Queen of Swords. Now the Queen of Swords does not take any shit and she acts on the information that she receives um, from her surroundings, okay? So pay really close attention to the things that are becoming apparent to you at this time. Pay close attention to the way people are treating you, the words that they are saying, um, and set your boundaries, okay? Because when the Queen of Swords comes out, it's often an indication that, um, you know, you need to protect yourself in some way, either energetically, physically, or that you need to speak up and stand up for yourself as well. Both of these cards represent the element of air, which is communication, um, information as well. So a lot of us are gathering a lot of information about the people, places, and opportunities around us. And it's your job to use the information that you're gleaning to help you get to where you want to be, right? We have the energy of the star. We know that our dreams are possible. We know that our goals are possible, but it's gonna require us to let go of some things, some people even, some situations that are not helpful for us, okay? So um, pay special attention to your surroundings this week um, and make sure that your circle is actually supportive. There's a lot of hidden snakes in the grass and they can make themselves apparent this week so pay attention to the information that you're receiving um, look at people's words and their actions how are they treating you how um, how are they helping or supporting you what are they choosing to speak to you because a lot of the times um, we let people in our lives kind of talk down on us or minimize our situations because of their status in our lives. And I think it's time for a lot of us to put our foot down and to say, you know, this shit ain't right. <laughs> you can't treat me like this. I'm not going to accept this from you. And although boundaries can be really scary sometimes, they are absolutely a, a display of self-love, okay? When we um, express ourselves and activate that throat chakra, which is exactly what Taurus season is about, then we are rewarded um, by our circumstances. Our circumstances begin to reflect more of what we want and more of what we deserve when we dare to speak up for ourselves, okay? So yes, we do have this golden opportunity and we do um, need to speak up and take a stand when it comes to the energy that we have this week. This could lead some of us to be having some difficult conversations. It could, um, this week, we, we could be shown the ways that we need to fortify um, our personal boundaries when it comes to the people that are around us, especially. If you have um, Aquarius placements or Aquarius people in your life, um, they're kind of standing out a lot right now. And, you know, I think Aquarius is learning a lot, growing a lot, going through a lot. Um, in general, because that, that card came out for us here. Um, being that both of these cards represent um, swords, communication, air, spirit, really pay attention to 
um, the messages that you are receiving this week, okay? And of course, always, but since these two cards came out this week, we want to pay special attention to that. Oh, hey, Bet on Bliss says, Hova Nova. I did that this a.m. and moved on. That's right. So a lot of us are needing to leave the past behind. Um, old connections, people, places. Again, you know, we have to get rid of the old so that we can welcome in the new. And just like we were saying before, when one door closes, you know, windows open, opportunities are still all around us. So if you've gotten any news this week that you weren't expecting, just know that this is leading to your come up. All right. I also want to pull some numerology cards. Uh, these show like the chakra colors as well. They give you special numbers to pay attention to. So as we are fortifying our boundaries, activating our throat chakras, taking advantage of opportunities that are presenting themselves to us. Oh, you got a new job? Dope. So as we are taking advantage of these things, um, we also want to be mindful of, okay, here we go. So relationship change. Now, this doesn't always have to be a romantic relationship. This could be a change in friendships. This can be a change in how you view your relationship with yourself. But the number 56, this is also your third eye chakra. Could be wrong. But um, relationship change is definitely in the mix, okay? So changing the way you see yourself, the way you see someone in your life. Someone says, yep, unexpectedly and still another interview Thursday. Congrats, congrats. Uh, we also have love partnership, okay? So there could be, because of your willingness to let go of the past, you know, we have new energy coming in to help facilitate more love partnerships, to get more um, people together, right? We are clearing the way so that we can finally get what we've been asking for, which is what these two cards are representing here. We also have the card of adventure. So remember, anytime there's like abrupt change, because this is number 55, fives are a number of change and adventure. So uh, the only way to get something different than what we already have is to embrace change and to, to trust it and to move forward with it and to believe that, okay, whatever is happening right now, whatever tower moment I've, I'm having, whatever is falling apart is so that it can come back together in a new way. And the last one we have is the nature card. So anytime that we are experiencing um, change, the outside world can definitely help us to integrate this through grounding practices. You guys know me already. I love outside. I'm a Taurus. And I'm a big advocate of spending time in nature, working with plants, water, fire, air elements. Use everything at your disposal to help you ground into these new changes because, um, you know, it can feel like the rug has been pulled from under you. Um, so even if the change is positive and something you've been asking for, it requires a lot out of you. So be sure to spend time in nature. It's, um, you know, natural medicine to be outside with the trees near the water. You can get a lot of endorphins. Dope. Someone said I was just at the park solo swinging. Yes, that's exactly the type of energy that can help you to integrate these changes more seamlessly throughout your week okay so just to recap for anybody who came in late the first card we have was relationship change things be between our friends family loved ones and even ourselves are beginning to change love partnership a lot of people are finding um, people that they love or deepening their relationships number 55 we have adventure so things are beginning to pick up speed and move potentially in directions you've never expected them i know someone in the chat said um you know a new job unexpectedly that's so dope someone says i've been told to get outside yes go outside even if it's just for five seconds just to take some deep breaths you can put your hands on your heart chakra um, you can put your hands on your sacral chakra area whatever it is to help um or both even, even better and just breathe okay we often really underestimate the power of simple shit <laughs> and i think that's what taurus season is trying to teach a lot of us who haven't learned this lesson yet is that it really is the little things the simple things in life that can help us to um to feel our best okay so 
don't take for granted, you know, the sun, the the wind, the trees, the grass, all of it is here for us. And if we choose to slow down and connect, to take a walk, yes, um, it can really help to edify us. It can really help us to ground down and to get used to this idea of change because each and every one of us has been asking for some sort of change, right? We've been trying to manifest. We've been setting our intentions. We've been asking, praying, hoping, right? So now it's time to put your hands up and be like, all right, <laughs> whatever it is, uh, I'm ready for it. Take whatever needs to go and bring me what I've been asking for. So do not be afraid to let go. Don't be afraid of uh, really anything, right? We want to ground into our faith, faith over fear. BJ says this whole life is my entire life. Amy's always on point. I've been deepening my relationship with myself and everything is changing for the better. Ashe, that makes me so happy. Thank you for being here. Yes, take a walk without thinking. Try to at least, yeah. And you know, the goal isn't, doesn't even have to always be not to think. Just go outside and walk. And as you walk, thoughts will come up. Notice what those thoughts are, acknowledge them, and let them go, right? I think sometimes when we try to suppress the things we've been thinking and feeling, just like I was talking about with activating your throat chakra, if there's something you've been wanting to say and you just keep suppressing it, that urge, that feeling to say is just gonna get stronger and stronger and stronger until you eventually explode, right? Um, so just honor yourself, honor what's coming up for you. The repetitive thoughts um, that you're having could have something um, to them. And also the repetitive thoughts you have are, a, are insight into perhaps some things that you need to heal within yourself. Okay, so if you're noticing like, damn, all I have is just a whole head full of worry, anxiety, and fear, then we know that we need to uh, get out in nature, like this card says, and to release that, to use your affirmations and your mantra and the things, uh, the tools in your toolbox to help you move through that. Um, you know, I post mantras every Monday for the collective, and I think a lot of people just think, oh, it's hokey pokey, whatever, but it truly uh, and is scientifically proven to help your mindset. So please, if you haven't already, um, kind of lean into that practice, see what it can do for you, suspend your disbelief for a little bit and give it a try. The, you know, the path to healing, the path to reframing our subconscious minds, to making our minds our friend, it requires work. And I know we're in this era of quick fixes and short attention spans, but really, if you give yourself, um, you know, the chance to repeat these practices and to really truly dedicate some time to yourself, especially if you are single and you want a relationship, now is the best time for you to really work on yourself. And a lot of people are resisting, resisting that right? And these cards alone say, hey, love partnership is on the way. Relationship changes are on the way. But in the meantime, what are you doing for yourself? What are you doing to help make sure that your relationship with yourself is, is positive and can grow, um, you know, can, can grow, can bear fruit? What are you doing to make sure that your relationship with your mind is a positive um, and safe place. So if you've been really just yearning for a relationship, I completely understand and it's definitely part of our nature to desire relationship and that deep connection and it's absolutely going to be available to you if it's a, you know, an honest desire of your heart. But in the meantime, take advantage of this energy here. This is such mental energy and if you know anything about the Kabbalion, uh, the universe is mental okay everything that we see experience perceive draw into us even is all due to our minds okay the power of our mind so really use this time use this energy to um to learn how to befriend yourself, to befriend your mind, to master your mind, so that you can then be the master of your reality. If we can tame our minds, do you know how much easier this journey can be for ourselves, right? If we can tame our anxieties, if we can 
um, use our brains as the magical tool that they are okay okay BJ says the work is so worth it you'll never be the same yes in the best way possible so uh, give yourself the time that you deserve speak up just like this Queen of Swords she's she's not about the bullshit right she's like I have something to say I have a message that needs to be communicated I have a boundary that needs to be honored I have a goal that I'm focusing on and I'm going to move forward without fear okay um, and maybe even not that I'm going to move forward with courage and courage is the decision to move forward in spite of fear okay so it's okay if change is scary for you but we also need to hold space for change because again we all ask for shit when we pray uh, whatever praying looks like for you and uh, you know, if we're so, t if we're holding on to this, this was at the bottom of the deck. If we are like this and we're choosing to hang on to what we already have, how are we supposed to make room for that which we've been asking for? Someone complimented my jewelry. Thank you. I made most of them. Um, and, you know, stay tuned because I'll be adding more things to the shop, my Etsy shop. So thank you for that compliment. Rebel Floor says, definitely been working on this. Yes, and it's not something that's gonna happen overnight. And so we need to uh, show ourselves some self-compassion and to be really like, okay, this is, this is difficult work, but I'm going to show up for myself anyway, okay? And that is where the magic happens when we acknowledge, hey, yeah, this shit sucks sometimes, <laughs> but I'm going to keep going anyway. Okay, I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep showing up. Um, and you know, mastering your mind is not about never having a negative thought. It's about noticing, oh, I'm doing that thing again where I'm self-sabotaging or when I'm just, you know, focusing so much on the negativity. Now I'm going to shift and use an affirmation or remind myself of how beautiful life is. Again, it's not about being perfect. It's about showing up. And it's about finding the lesson in all of the madness, right? In all of the chaos. Because uh, a lot of things, you can look around and be like, what is this for? Why did this happen? You know, and you can send yourself on a spiral, um, you know, feeling sorry for yourself, victimizing yourself, um, blaming other people for your circumstances. But when you really just stop and ask spirit, ask yourself, connect to your um, energy point, just be like, okay, what's the lesson here? What can I control? How can I move forward? What am I noticing about my circumstances? That is where the growth happens. That's where the magic happens. And that's often where we stop, you know, where we're like, oh, that's too hard. I'm just gonna sit here and be sad. And, you know, I know everyone has varying degrees of things going on in their life, but again, both of these cards here are about the mental, okay? So our perception is our reality. And once we realize, hey, there's so many different ways to look at the same situation, that's exactly what's going on on Earth right now, right? Everybody's here on Earth, but we all have a different perception of what's going on. We all have you know, are, are different unique things that uh, we latch onto, that we hold on to. So again, this is so much about our individual experience and choosing um, our thought process. That's not always easy. Our subconscious minds um, are kind of made up from birth until age seven. We get this like blueprint of what we think life is. So think back to, uh, those times what was going on for you and for a lot of people it was not happy it was not supportive it was um traumatic even so we are using um you know 90 percent of our daily actions are run by our subconscious mind and if our subconscious mind is formed from our earliest experiences a lot of us are running around like unhealed children right kind of creating these realities um, for ourselves that are unsupportive. But again, if we use this Queen of Swords and this Star card energy, 
we can rewrite that script we can reprogram our subconscious minds through repetition so whatever we continuously tell ourselves or expose ourselves to or uh, read or watch or listen to that becomes our new um, psycho cybernetic setting if you guys listen to um, amber Khan, she's really big on the book psycho cybernetics and i've definitely read that great book if you haven't read it, please go do that because it really illustrates how you can reprogram your mind, okay, to better serve you. Let's see what you guys have been saying. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, definitely been working on this. Someone says, so true, you have to love yourself first. Yeah, and that's not to say like other people can't love you if you don't love you. It's just why waste your time sitting here like oh i wish i was in a relationship yes we know that but what can you be doing in the meantime how can you be bettering yourself how can you really take advantage of your opportunity to be here on earth because we all came here uh for a reason so what are, what steps are you taking to accomplish your purpose while you're waiting for other things to happen yes 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 raise your degree in thinking yes we're in the age of aquarius now so we left the age of capricorn where it was like work 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 like never not sleeping that sort of thing now we're moving into the age of information um aquarius is also about community it's about healing it's about um, friendship um, service things like that so we are moving from a time where it was just like, oh, I always have to grind, I always have to work hard, to now the work is more internal, the work is on our minds, the work is um, about receiving information and implementing the information. Someone else says, when you look how far you've come, you'll smile, I had to do this yesterday. Yes, absolutely, give yourself some credit, have some compassion for yourself. If that's something you struggle with, I have a couple, um, meditations on self-compassion and uh, cultivating compassion for others. They're on my YouTube channel, but self-compassion is such a big deal, especially if you find that your mind is kind of your enemy. If you have this voice in your head that's negative, um, partaking in guided meditations surrounding self-compassion can definitely help you out. Someone else says your breath from using just the body mind must change that indeed yes just even the way you breathe throughout your day breathing into um your belly right instead of just breathing a lot of people breathe with their shoulders so you're not even getting a full deep breath and we what we don't realize is um deep breathing can literally change the chemical makeup in your brain right you can become a different person just from breathing differently so if you're finding that you're someone who breathes from your shoulders or your chest um, aim your breath downward. That's also um, an expert tip when it comes to cultivating your creative energy. If we use ovarian uh, breathing, breathing into your ovary space or to your testicles, I know this is getting weird, but uh, testicle breathing and ovarian breathing can help to um, creatively uh, stimulate your body, right? Because those two centers for males, females, everybody in between are um, major energy centers. We create children from these centers. So if we breathe into our womb space, or if you have testicles, you breathe into your testicles, that can help to circulate this creative energy. So if you wanna know more about that, I know I lost some people there, that's not for everybody, but we're talking more about that over on my Patreon page. And uh, yeah, we'll dive more into that there <laughs> okay someone else says wow i didn't know that about the origin of the subconscious it makes sense can you pin that book psycho cybernetics yes absolutely um so that book it explains that your subconscious mind and even there's uh there's another book called becoming supernatural that explains your subconscious mind um as well but those two books um talk about how just like I'm looking over here at my air conditioning thermostat thing. Um, so just like we set the air to come on at a certain time, we also have settings 
internally inside of us and that's why they tell us the first year of life is so important but really the first seven years our brains are in what's called theta state and we're absorbing things like a sponge so we're always constantly looking around and we're creating um, a concept of what life is like so for me i moved around a lot when i was a kid and i know for other people uh, there's been things like abuse and trauma etc cetera, etc cetera. so if if your psycho cybernetic settings are set to the idea of trauma your subconscious mind then thinks that the world is not a safe place that you're not safe here that you're not supported and that belief kind of like with the movie inception <laughs> kind of paints the rest of your perception through the rest of your life and of course your settings change as you see things um, being repeated around you and that's why mantra and affirmation can work because through repetition we are speaking directly to our subconscious mind so yes psycho cybernetics i'll see if i can pin that and then i'll get to the rest of these comments because i know there's been more over here and also becoming supernatural is a book that talks about these things a lot the subconscious mind is a big focus of mine with my clients and um in the patreon group as well because without addressing our deeply held beliefs about ourselves and the world we can't move forward as far as we could uh, and that's another thing with um, Pluto being retrograde right now. Pluto is the planetary ruler of Scorpio. And as we know, Scorpios are really deep. They're really connected to death, life, transformation, rebirth. Um, so with Pluto being retrograde, it's sending us back and deeper into our subconscious to bring up all of the gunk and all of the shit that we don't need anymore so we can see it and decide, am I going to keep holding on to it or am I going to release it? So the month of May um, is really asking you to go internally to find those places uh, within your mind, within your external circumstances that are not supporting you anymore and to move forward from that. Of course, you know, if you need another go around, if you need to learn these lessons again, the universe will provide you that opportunity. But for those of us who are ready to move to this next level, um, really take advantage of this time right now to observe, okay? Just observe yourself without judgment because we know judgment doesn't help anybody. And judgment, judging others actually makes you more insecure. So if you're someone who has a lot of insecurities, your self-confidence is low, practice not judging others and you will find that you begin to stop judging yourself. Inner size, I like that term, yes. Someone says, or left Philly says we have to be in a loving relationships with ourselves first. I never thought I would be by myself, but I'm glad because I found myself and I'm thankful for that. Yes, absolutely. Tony says I've come a long way and blessed what's coming my way. That's so dope. <laughs> Thank you, Mighty Lion. He says your being is so fire, beloved. Thank you, yes. Ashe. Someone says, I've become very spiritual now. I meditate and eat healthy, drink healthy, work out five times a week. Dope. You're a beautiful spirit and soul. You have helped me with so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being here. It's definitely my pleasure to be of assistance. That's, um, I have a Virgo rising. Virgos are all about helping and serving people and just being a light. So I am happy to share what I know with you and, and I hope that it helps. Um, I'm trying to be more active on these platforms just to let you guys know that you're not alone. And, you know, I've been through a whole lot. I'm in the process of writing a book right now on self-love and sexuality. And, um, you know, I've learned a lot. And I just, if there's anything I can do to help you find some shortcuts on your path, because I took the seated route. I did a lot of things I didn't have to do. Uh, I'm a Taurus, right? We're hard-headed. Uh, so, yes. 
Uh, I have a Patreon, as I've mentioned before. The link is in the bio. I also have a podcast where I talk more about self-love and sexuality. Um, Etsy shop with lots of little things to help you on your journey, on your path as well. So be sure to check all those things out. Um, I would love it if you could share this video, share the love, share the profile. Um, you know, just share the word, okay? My birthday's coming up. My birthday's May 10th. I'm going to be 32. So I've definitely been thinking a lot about, you know, this last year of my life, how things have been going, where I want things to move forward to next. Um, all right. Oh, you'd love for me to read your cards. Great. There's a link in my bio. You can click that and get to the shop. I have a few different options for you. Yay! Yes, Taurus season. It requires, um, this Taurus season is different from most. Um, it requires a lot of introspection this time. We do have a Mercury retrograde this month, not during Taurus season, but this month, um, May 23rd. So prepare for that. Um, you know, those are always kind of fun show you how far you've come or show you where you still need to learn some things so take advantage this week let's get back to the message i want to wrap it up uh we had the energy which is the star card um doors are opening up but some doors are also closing okay we need to stand up for ourselves we need to set boundaries we need to cut away that which is not serving us so that we can welcome in uh, this change we can welcome in what is for us okay when's my birthday my birthday is may 10th the day after mother's day if you're in mexico or if you have mexican heritage may 10th is mother's day every year so that's fun i'm excited i'm gonna go get a massage i've been talking about a massage for the last like year or two so i'm excited for all of that yeah turn up turn up in the Taurus way though I don't want to um I'm not down for like partying and stuff but I do want a massage I want good food maybe some good herbs or something but we'll see about that <laughs> yep okay so perfect timing they're starting to blow the little weed whackers outside so I'm a go so you guys don't have to hear that this whole time but thank you for being here and I'll be back probably tomorrow um, if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, I do plan to go live on there today, but yeah, you'll cook for me. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, Tony is a chef. Tony to real check Tony out. Um, especially you live in Georgia, right? Tony. So check Tony out. Thank you. You're a blessing. Thanks for being here guys. Um, uh, I'm a go. I love you though, and I hope you have a beautiful week. All right, stand up for yourself. Activate that tr that ooh, that throat chakra. Do what you need to do for yourself. Remember to prioritize your needs too. Okay, just like they tell you on the airplane, you gotta um, secure your mask before you help somebody else. Okay, yes, Tony's in Georgia, so go ahead and hit Tony up. All right. All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you later. Bye, y'all.